Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner, and this is Ali. And on this video, we will share how we can safely go online on a jailbroken PS4. This is very important since on a jailbroken PS4, we definitely cannot update our PS4. And going online has this big risk of updating our PS4. So we have to take every necessary steps to make sure that it don't happen when going online. You can apply this uh, whatever the version of your jailbreak is, but we'll start with the latest jailbreak, PPPWN. And before we start, let us first answer when do we need to go online. We have to go online every time we update our tools, or our games, or update our web host. We also need this to download an application on the Homebrew Store, or use streaming platforms such as Netflix, YouTube, etc or simply wants to go browsing on your jailbroken PS4. Now let us go ahead and make sure that our jailbroken PS4 is safe when going online. For this, you will have to activate your jailbreak first. After we activate the jailbreak, we will have to set up the network configuration of our PS4. We will start on the PS4 using the PPPWN because uh, it is a little complicated going online on this version compared to other jailbreak. Since this exploit relies on the network, you will have to change your PS4 network configuration every time you go online. Unlike on the other jailbreak, you can stay online all the time and have no issues activating your jailbreak. Now let us go ahead and go to the network settings. Set up internet connection. Use your local connection. Choose custom. IP address automatic. Do not specify. Now for the first step to prevent updates on your PS4, we have to use the right DNS settings that blocks official Sony updates. So on the DNS settings, use manual and use this DNS. The next automatic do not use and here on the test internet connection you should have a successful attempt otherwise you will have to check any possible issues you may have on your local connection. Now once everything is successful the next thing that we have to do is we have to disable the updates. To do that on the PPPWN, you can use the disabled update payload and place it on your USB and insert the USB on your PS4 as you activate the jailbreak. When the jailbreak is activated, your PS4 will load the payload saved on the hard drive. But the easier way is simply using a web host. You'll only have to set this once. After you load the payload, the information will be saved on your PS4 and you will be able to access the payload completely offline. Now to access the payloads on our PS4 above 9.0, just go to the internet browser. Press option, close window, back to option, delete all. Option, settings, delete cookies and clear website data. Now on the URL, we can enter the address of the payload that will work on our PS4. Now enter. This will cache on your PS4. After this, all of the information will be saved on your PS4 and you will be able to access this web host completely offline. So let us just go ahead and wait for it to cache. After caching, we can go ahead and disable our internet or set it back for the PPPWN. But you don't have to do that yet if you plan to go online. First, let us go ahead and show you how to disable the update using the web host. Let us go to the gold hand settings. Server settings. And enable bin loader server. Sometimes you will need to toggle this off and on again if you're having issues loading any payloads. Now let us go back to the web host. And choose your selected payload. For this, let us go ahead and choose Disable Updates. From here, you can rest assured that there will be no updates that will occur on your PS4 
unless you re-enable your updates using this one. Now you can go ahead and browse online, stream online, update your games, or download applications using the Homebrew browser. Now if you are on 9.0 and using some automatic device to activate your jailbreak, you simply have to reconfigure your network, connect online, and use a web host that is compatible with your version. I will just leave a link on our description for the web host that you can use if you are on 9.0 and lower and 9.03 and above. Now, if you are on 9.0 using the standard jailbreak or using the USB to activate the jailbreak or if you are on 7.55 to 5.05, you can just simply load your web host and load the disable updates. But if you are using an automatic host, that automatically um, loads the gold hen, you have to change your host that will allow you to choose a payload that you want to load. Now let us go ahead and show you how to change the web host. You can use this if you are on 9.0 and lower. So press option on your controller, close window, back to option, delete all, option, settings, delete cookies, and clear website data, back to URL, and use this host. Now choose this manual host. If you are on the lower firmware, you will be given the option to choose the firmware of your PS4. So just simply choose your firmware, use a manual host, and let it cache. So the thing here is if you are using an automatic host, you need to use a manual host to be able to manually load a payload available on that web host. Now after it loads, you can go ahead and choose your payloads or simply disable your updates. From here, you can go ahead and safely go online, browse, or stream on a jailbroken PS4. Now, if you are on 9.0 that uses automatic jailbreak or higher that uses the PPPWN exploit, after you go online, you will have to reset up your network configuration for your jailbreak. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.